Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph. This is my channel, Lots of Needles, and I do tutorials and recommendations and vlogs and stuff around sewing, mostly. Maybe other stuff in the future, who knows. This video is a follow-on from my 17 summer pattern recommendations, free patterns. This is all about the dresses and it was so hard to narrow it down just to 14. I think these dresses are fun, timeless, really flattering and I, dresses for me at the moment they just take out the decision making process especially in this heat you can just throw in a dress you don't have to worry about does these shorts go with this t-shirt or why don't I have any tops that go with any of my bottom half clothes this is super irritating this might just be a me problem though other people might have a more coordinated wardrobe than I do so and then I feel like I'm getting back into my dress era. If you are looking for dresses with tears, this video is not for you. I cannot stand that trend. Okay, we are kicking things off with a classic shirt dress. This is the Rosalie dress by Moo Society and it comes in a size double zero to size 32. Your email address is required for the download and they email you and you click download and it's a PDF. A4 print at home and this I think is got a really nice clean silhouette the you do need buttons so it's a button down there's no zips though and it looks like it's got some uh, shaping around the bust as well and you can then modify the length of it have it longer shorter longer or shorter sleeves the one that they've made they made out of lightweight linen chambray and you do need some fusel interfacing as well and i like the fact that it has the belt tie so again if you've watched any of my videos i'm more gravitating towards dresses or clothes with flexibility in them with a little bit of stretch um so it can go over more seasons like seasons in the weather but also seasons in my body and the changes that I go through. So this dress, this is a ready to wear dress I bought from shops years ago, but it's got elastic around the back. So if I'm feeling a bit slimmer, it fits. Or if I'm a little bit heavier, it has a stretch in it, but it still looks nice. It, I'm not trying to squeeze into an item of clothes. And I really do like this shirt dress. I like the fit and, the fit and flare of it. Moving on, we have a maxi dress. This is by Unfettered, and if you haven't heard of them, go check them out. They have some really nice free patterns, not just dresses. Like, they've got a really nice crop top. Um, so if you like the Seguru set, the top half of it, it's got one very similar to that, but the back is also a deep V, and it's just got a little tie across the top. I think that looks really lovely. And if you like the, the dolman sleeves, get it's just a, you're cutting out really simple shapes. You don't have to add sleeves on. Anyway, this is a relaxed midi dress and it is a free download and it's coming in sizes double XS, extra extra small to 3XL. So you're going from an 85 centimeter bust to 121 centimeter bust or 92 centimeter hips to 128 centimeter hips. And they are recommending to use 30 to 40% stretch jersey with spandex. I don't think you can go wrong with a simple maxi dress. I, I think I'm in my maxi dress era. Before, I think pre-kids, I was like, mm, no, makes me look a bit too old, a bit too fundy dundy. Now, maybe just because I am older, I just think it's so much easier just to stick on a dress. Like if I'm bending down my child, I'm not flashing people. And this, it looks like it's got some shaping around the, around the middle of your body. So it's not just going straight up and down which I really like. I like stuff with a little bit of shape. A good simple basic. I'm going for basic. Oh, no, moving on. So this is by It's Always Autumn and it is how to sew a maxi dress without a pattern, the easy way. So what I like about this is it's got the dolman sleeves and it has a um, casing around the center that you can put a tie through so you can pull it tighter and it's a, a nice relaxed fix It's pretty straight up and down, but with the tie But this you are having to look at what your body is you have to like get more familiar with your measurements and Just taking you away from that ready to wear like PDFs that you download and it's all 
you're having to think a bit more but the like the thinking is minimal for this right so she based it on a pattern that i think she saw in gap years ago and she included a picture and basically they're pretty similar and it gets kind of giving me like beach vibes walking down the beach having an ice cream nice and relaxed casual like you can afford to go have lunch in it so again it's made with a knit fabric it's just so you can pull it on and off and yeah i like the cute drawstring waist there's not really much more to say about it so next up is a romantic strapless ruffled maxi dress so despite my rant about tears this has a tear on it but i just wouldn't include it i would not use the tear at all um and just make sure i cut my fabric long enough what i like about this is this is my only nod to ruffles really is the ruffles that you've got here around the top looks really i think would balance out my hips balance out my bigger hips and make me look a bit a bit more balanced a bit more like maybe a bit more like a square but i kind of like the ruffles so you can't tell i've got super small boobs because it's disguised with a ruffle and again this is this will fit your body because you have to take your own measurements and it is just a lot of a lot of writing and i think i want to make this i think i want to just try it out um so hopefully have a video on this but she's got a nice little diagram of like where your measurements go and it's got a few pictures for instructions it's not super detailed i do think it could do with updating but it's quite an old old blog post and that's by sharon sews and you do need some quarter inch elastic and some single fold bias tape as well and you can make that just out of a a light fabric really so next up is by unfettered patterns again and this is a belted elegant dress with pockets so any of these dress patterns i would always recommend adding in pockets because they're just super handy it's like we are in a generation where we're kind of attached to our phones they come with us everywhere pockets we need pockets and this is pockets what i like about this again is the belt tie i really like it it looks like it's a nice thick chunky belt as well and the pockets look really fun and look like a little bit more of an interesting make it's something that maybe might test your abilities again comes in 2xs extra extra small to double xl and they've used a heavyweight crepe oh they recommend viscose linen or garbadine and they've also used some lightweight lining fabric but for some that i would just go i wouldn't i would just go with what feels right i don't necessarily think you need a lining fabric if you're maybe just using like a cotton poplin something like that you do need some fusible interfacing as well um, i would possibly for me make it a little bit longer um so maybe it's going to hit me more at knee length instead of a couple of inches above the knee but that's the beauty of making your own clothes is you get to make those changes yourself okay next up is a simple slip by grasser grasser i think it's a, a russian site maybe and i'm not i'm not entirely sure this would suit me but the fact that it's such a simple make it's only a couple of pieces that you have to cut out and it only has a couple of bust darts in it i think you could add in like a little simple tie around this if you want to bring it in but for just something that you can just chuck on and go that's super summery and if you made this out of a florals i think it would just look so pretty and it's got a uh, couple of slits up the side and this is made out of a lightweight non-stretch fabric so it's a woven fabric so you, if you've got cotton in your stash already that you're looking to use up um it is a line and it sits just above the neat what's good about this though is they have made it in four height ranges so if you're smaller if you're shorter you can use the short height range but if you're like really tall again it's got height ranges which i've not seen in patterns before the sizes are russian sizes so it's 38 to 54 which that seems like quite a wide range of numbers i don't know what that equates to in centimeters and inches though we're moving on to a few from sew magazine so for this you do have to log in you have to have an account but they are free most of these i've got three patterns recommended from them and they all come in a size 8 to a size 20 uk size so the first off is a classic polka dot dress now this 
construction does look a bit more um, complicated than some of the other dresses. I have a polka dot dress, but it is just a smidge too short for my liking for the stage of life I am now and how I feel. And but it's look, it's such a classic dress. It's navy with navy with white polka dots. And so this one looks like it's a bit longer and it just looks like a really feminine, fun make that you could swirl and your skirt can fly up or if you've got um, on those underskirts on to add volume. This is giving those like classic 50s vibe. Yeah, it's got timeless appeal and um, it's got that nice, that flare out and so it brings you in at the waist. Again, so it's fitted bodice and you can swirl. Um, designed for Chris Cottons or lightweight linens. So next up for So Magazine is a cinched waist dress. So this comes again size 8 to 20 and this has shearing elastic. So I've never tried shearing before but I think I have some shearing elastic. I really want to try it because I bought a, um, a play suit jumpsuit from Next and the whole top bodice, it's sleeveless, is all shared. And the fit is giving me like, it's so lovely. And where it finishes doesn't highlight my belly either because it's such wide legs. So I think this is a skill that I am ready to add to my repertoire. And I think starting with a couple of dresses where the shirring is minimal is a good place to start. This dress you can't, it's just a simple dress. It's nice, fitted, has a bit of stretch will grow with you or shrink with you and I don't think it's looks like it's an overcomplicated make but it's a nice staple to have in your wardrobe. Next up is the rosy dress and this is similar vein again and goes from a size 8 to size 24. You do need 12 buttons with this and some fusible interfacing and it's designed for a lightweight wovens with drapes such as viscose, rayon, poplins or cotton lawn. And again, it's got shirring around the waist and it's got these lovely floaty sleeves, butterfly sleeves, I think they're called. So, and then it's got a nice v-neck as well. So for the type of style that I like to wear, this is hitting all of it. The buttons look a little bit annoying, not gonna lie, but getting good and making buttonholes is a really essential skill and making sure that you actually use the interfacing when it's required, not thinking, ah, why do we need it? You do need it, trust me. And this, it looks like a tea dress, I think you would call it. So if you're going out for lunch, uh, going out for a nice early dinner, just beautiful and elegant. I think I want an elegance, you know, I think that's the, the way I want to feel. I want to go out looking we're looking pretty and elegant. I think that's the vibes I've been trying to go for. Continuing on with my shearing obsession, shearing obsession, that I have included a couple of tutorials on how to make like really, really simple shear dresses. And so I have one by Molly Melly Sews and Gathered How Litter Magazine. And they're very similar. So it just gives you a bit more information on shearing, how to do it, why, blah, 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 and how to make your own custom piece for your body measurements as well. Um, so the one by gather.how, the picture that they use is just a very simple bodice top, which is what I probably would go with because it pulls you in at the top and then a nice, um, nice sort of flared out skirt, really easy make. And if you are, small chested, that means you can sort of forgo the whole bra thing. Um, yeah, if you're a larger busted, you might want to add the straps where the Melly Sews tutorial has the straps included as well. Moving back onto Mood Society, this is the poppy dress. Now, this is a bit much, I think, for your everyday, walking the dog, going to work, just general life. But if you have a wedding coming up, or if you just wanna Feel pretty and amazing. This dress is stunning, like absolutely stunning. I cannot say how much I love it. So it, you need your email address, they'll email it to you. It comes in size two to size 30, which is a 32.5 inch to 58.5 inch bust. They recommend a stretch cotton sateen or jacquard, lace, cotton, eyelet fabrics. You will need nine buttons. So some of the features is this beautiful deep V that cuts you right down to here. 
So I think that's a really elegant part of your body. For me, I have smaller chest. I can get away with the deep Vs because I don't have a huge cleavage. And then where it stops, it's cutting above my, my, my belly. So then I'm not showing off my belly. The skirt flares out, which is again, a really flattering silhouette and it's got puffy sleeves. Now, I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the puffy sleeves, but the whole thing together looks so, it comes together really, really well. Um, I would possibly want maybe more butterfly sleeves, like something like this, I think would maybe look a little bit better, maybe a little less um, occasion wear. And yeah, this would be like a dress I made as like a luxury dress just because maybe I was feeling down one day and I just wanted to look amazing like this is sort of the dress of my dreams maybe like the dress I wish I got married in I wish I had the skills back then I also saw the pattern because it's just I just think it's really elegant it's just so beautiful now this one you might think this doesn't look like a summer dress what are you talking about this is a bit weird bear with me this is the Gambit Pinafore dress. So it is based on the Queen's Gambit show and the, they have used a plaid wool suiting fabric. So they recommend sort of tweed, shirting, poplin, um, that kind of thing. Now they've paired it with a shirt, but with the, with the way the V-net looks, I think you can get away with this by using a poplin, uh, a lighter cotton, um, for a summer dress and the V isn't too deep so you're not like exposing yourself right even though it's a, a pinafore type dress but I did see on Instagram a girl did a reel and like all the different ways that she styled this dress and it just looked amazing she like came up with so many different options so this piece I think is really versatile like that if you stick this on with like a heavy pair of tights and maybe a shirt or a t-shirt or a jumper. This can see you through the seasons, but also be a great summer dress. So I would possibly make this in a more neutral tone. Maybe a dark red would look really nice to see me through not just one season. It does have a invisible zipper and it is a full skirted pinafore. And it, is, it does give you vintage vibes, right? And it has a few, the bodice is separated into a few different pieces. So it's a bit more intensive in the sewing again now this dress is similar to the uh, the romantic dress but it's the ruffles your arms are going in the ruffle what i liked about this is again is you use your own measurements now i would say that her pictures are amazing she looks stunning but the instructions are like a whole just bunch of text which for me really puts me off i get really um distracted and just struggle to follow a whole bunch of red instructions i like mine broken up with pictures of you know me i like a good video tutorial right but i think this is quite a popular design um i think for summer dresses so it's quite trendy i hate that word quite quite neutral and inoffensive and stands the test of time but it has i think it's quite straight on her uh, on anyone really i would like to add in some waist shirring. So now once I've made my shirt items, I can then take that skills and move it forward onto another item of clothes. So then you've got the frilliness on the top to enhance your upper body to balance out with your hips, but then the shirring in the middle and your waist to then bring you in to then give you a really beautiful silhouette. And that is by uh, Leanne Barlow, sorry. So last but not least is the Porsche party dress. Getting access to this is a little bit, um, a little bit irritating. So you have to then for a free membership. So you have to go through the checkout process and then you get emailed uh, your, yeah, welcome to the membership. It's by Rebecca Page. And if you click on that link, you then get into that side of the website where you can access free patterns. Now the actual pattern itself is set up really lovely. It's set up in pages, it talks you through like a course. So you click on the next page and the next page. So this dress, what I like, what drew it to me was the amount of people that have made it, is enough people that have made it that she could include quite a few pictures and quite a few different body types. 
Now the sizes comes in 2XS to 5XL, which is a 21 inch bust to a 54 inch bust, or 34 inch to 57 inch hips. And the pattern she's included is her knit fabrics, which will give you a more um, fitted silhouette compared to woven. Uh, you can buy an add-on, which will give you woven instructions. What is cute about this for me is the open back. I just think a re an open back looks really sort of lovely um, and it's sort of a nice thing to show off is your back. It's for me anyway. Again, I don't think you could get away with the bra if you're having an open back, but the sleeves, it's got like the, the flouncy sleeves. I really like flouncy sleeves and the length of it I think cuts really nice and because it cuts right under your chest as well it's lengthening your body or your legs it's lengthening something and the fit the fit just looks really lovely on like all the women in the pictures it looks like again just something that's easy to throw on and you could dress it up if you want to go out that that concludes today's video i hope that you've enjoyed some of the recommendations i have gone tr i have tried to um, showcase patterns that don't require millions of zippers maybe it's a wee bit button heavy but stuff that's simple easy designs and things that won't go out of fashion super quick easy like it will take you through however many years and I know there's quite a few knit fabrics, which they are a pain to sew with, not going to lie, but knit fabrics do have that stretch, which you don't, I've thrown, donated so many clothes away now because they're all woven and they do not fit anymore and they ain't going to fit for another couple of years, if ever, so why keep them? But with my clothes that have built in stretch or built in elastic, they will still fit. So this dress I bought pre my son and still fits now. I know my body's vastly changed. So that, that was where I was trying to go with these patterns for most of them anyway. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video.